My name's Ben Ryan. I'm a designer, jeweler, and silversmith. And I specialize in making bespoke pieces along with public art. I like to think that I'm a little bit of an artist. Making silver and gold has sort of given me a platform to showcase my designs that could, if produced in stainless steel, could have been considered as product design. Silver is an ancient material that you can use modern processes now and form it into all sorts of new and creative shapes. I enjoy sort of marrying the traditional making skills with the new technologies that are out there. Ultimately, making something using a process that gives you the best possible outcome rather than just the processes that you know. I was asked to submit a design for the exhibition showcasing gin. The way in which I like to work is I like to take either an existing form and sort of either pay homage to it or perhaps tell a bit of a backstory that, that isn't so obvious. The theme was old and new, so I wanted to create a new contemporary looking piece that combined both traditional and new technologies. The piece is hand spun silver. My name's Stuart Ray. I've been spinning for 27 years now. When you first start spinning, all you think about is strength and its power and its noise. It's all about being part of the metal. The only way to actually become a master craftsman is just keep working. Even now, I'll get a job that comes in that I have to look at and go, well, how are we going to make that? You know? And that's where the designers push us craftsmen because we have to think outside the box. It then has a frame around the outside of it, which is been done on the computer and then 3D printed in wax and cast, and then cleaned up and soldered together. It also has eight handset stones in the tips of each of the ends of the frame. And on the beaker itself, I've done some hand engraving, which sports a barcode that reads Dutch Courage. It's sort of widely accepted that one of the first mass recorded uses of gin was in the Dutch War of Independence. The term Dutch Courage has come from that because obviously the Dutch were drinking large amounts of gin. And the reason why there's eight arms is to represent each decade of the war. I'm trying to give added function as well as sort of value to the story. The top of the barcode represents a, a double shot and the top of the black frame represents you know, a generous helping of tonic. I feel pretty happy that this piece is hopefully not only aesthetically pleasing, but also quite a functional piece. I don't know, I can imagine it going to a collector, though it could be a nice gift to the person that has everything, or a real gin lover.